news. Poll reveals 45% of Americans think the U.S. should be a Christian nation. A Pew Research poll published on October 27th revealed that 45% of Americans believe that the U.S. should be a Christian nation. The research shows that 60% of Americans believe that the founders intended the USA to be a Christian nation. 33% believe that it is a Christian nation right now. More than half of the respondents who want or already believe we have a Christian nation say the federal government should not declare it so nor advocate for Christian values. 39% think the separation of church and state should be enforced. Christians Against Christian Nationalism launched in July of 2019 and stated, Christian, quote, Christian nationalism demands Christianity be privileged by the state and implies that to be a good American, one must be Christian. It often overlaps with and provides cover for white supremacy and racial subjugation. We reject this damaging political ideology. Christian nationalists, though minority, hold extreme views, such as imposing biblical mandates and total abortion ban, no matter the circumstances. So I thought that this was really interesting and important because a few weeks ago, we talked about how there was a poll that revealed that the majority of Republicans think that the U.S. should be a Christian nation. And some of them even know that it violates the constitution, but still want it anyways. Um, and, but that was like focusing on Republicans, right. And more of a breakdown between their political, I mean, religious affiliation, like evangelical versus Catholic mainline Protestant, etc. Um, but this is a reflection of Americans in general, in general, not just Republicans. This is across the spectrum and 40, 5% think that the U.S. should be a Christian nation. Armin, your reaction. Okay, this, this is crazy. This is insane. 45%? I would have never got... Of those surveyed. That. That's crazy. Okay, him admit is saying the bad news, 45% of Americans think the U.S. should be a Christian nation. The good news, they completely disagree disagree about what that means in practice. Okay, that's good. My takeaways, okay. So... But here's the thing, like, I am really scared. The United States, like, in this next election is coming right now. I don't know what's going to happen. Or is Trump going to become a president, the president again? Um, like, we're losing United States to far-right Christian nationalism. And if we lose the United States, like, that's hugely going to swing everything towards uh, La La Land, like, crazy nonsense. Like, we, we had a major, like, in the past two years we saw a back to sanity in the world like liberalism liberal powers coming together and uniting and trying to make this world a lot more peaceful and better but if we lose united states to this force that is now you know like if they come into power in in, in this next elections for senate and congress they could change election laws in a way that they will always remain in power and this is like this is like a major threat, not just to the United States. That's a major threat to the whole planet. Like every, every, every person in the whole world should be terrified about this. This is, we will lose, we will lose the rule of sanity. Like we will lose so much in the world if this happens. But go on, Susanna. Well, part of the thing that's really interesting is like, so we have, you know, 45% say that the U.S. should be a Christian nation. But when asked about that, what that actually means or how that would be enforced, there's a lot of nuance and variability. So, quote, even those who believe America should be a Christian nation generally avoided hardline positions. Most of this group, 52%, said the government should never declare any particular faith the official state religion. So the majority still say that the government shouldn't be officially declared a Christian nation in the same way like a theocracy is. Only 28% said that they wanted Christianity to be recognized as the country's official faith. Similarly, 52% said the government should advocate for moral values shared by several religions compared to 24% who said it should advocate for Christian values alone. Those are some really still high numbers. And they're very motivated when it comes to their, the problem also is that a lot of these people 
are very motivated when it comes to their political activism, much more than mm -hmm. the people on our side. Yeah. Um, Extremely so. It's enough of a percentage for you to be able to change the election rules enough for them to always come on top. I mean, you see in a country where most people agree abortion should be legal, you still have five of them managed to, you know, do something that is not, right? So, you know, they only need 20% if they could change mm -hmm. enough, the laws enough. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, the, I just kind um... of... Yeah, go on. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Let's super chat. Zagris just gave a $5 for my jizia. Thank you. Thank you. Are you sure? You have to make sure you give your jizia to me in humiliation. Like, you have to be humbled while you give it to me. So, make <laughs> sure. That's how it works, right? So, <laughs> but thank you. Thank you, Zagris. Wow. For that's how That's the, yeah. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. So, okay. Um, Da, 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 da. Wait, if you go into the show notes, there are two images I wanted to show that um, break down the polling in a more visual way, which I think helps put this into perspective for people. Oh my gosh, Bread of Life is here. Hi, Rebecca, how are you? It's good to see you again. Um, D is saying, there are two very different realities here with the big lie believers. Most politicians are spouting Bible verses now. Florida's DeSantis recently declared God created him on the eighth day. Did he seriously say that? Oh my God. This is that must be, that must be a joke. That must be a joke. He's, yeah, be, but still. That can't be real. That's bold. Okay. So um among those who want the U.S. to be a Christian nation, upward of half say the Bible should influence U.S. laws and take precedence over the will of the people. So here it says, of the percentage of um, U.S. adults who say that they want America to be a Christian nation, 50, wait, the Bible should have a great deal or more influence on some U.S. laws. So that's 78%. And then if they conflict... Meaning if American law conflicts with biblical law, the biblical law should take precedence over the law of the land and the will of the people. That's wild. Mm. Rebecca in the live chat, who is a Christian, by the way, go check out her channel. It's, a, it's called Bread of Life. It's saying it's so frustrating to me that some Christians believe the big lie. She says, embarrassing. That's right. That's good. I mean, not well, it shouldn't be embarrassing to you, though. But but thank you. Mm -hmm. But this is good to show that not all Christians look like this. Of of the American adults who say that the U.S. should not be a Christian nation, seventy nine percent say that the Bible should have little or no influence on U.S. laws. One thing that shocked me though is based on this polling, um, seven percent of atheists said that they want the, the U.S. to be a Christian nation. Yeah, I know. Actually, these are like the, I don't know, Jordan Peterson or fans or Andrew Tate's fans. Oh, well, not anymore, actually. That's Islam now. But kind of like a whole bunch of um, far-right atheists think like, you know, Christianity is loony at all, but it's what's holding, holding our country together. You know, kind of like... We're like is, how we should structure society. This is the identity of people. People are not smart enough as me to understand that religion is nonsense. We need religion to keep everything together, especially if we're going to, the only force that is powerful enough to stand against something like Islam is Christianity. Like liberalism is just like too weak and all, but that's what they think, which is nonsense. Um, so, so well. Oxymoron is saying, how reliable are these stats? It's, it's Pew, okay? It's not a, it's not like a revelation from God kind of reliable, but it is, it is as reliable. Basically, as the gets. gold standard. It is the gold standard. Yes, Gallup and Pew are the, basically the best ones. So, so that's how reliable it is. What is this that you want to show? Oh, um, this is just like more of a breakdown of how people say certain things. So, like, do you think that the U.S. is now a Christian nation? Like, sixty-four percent said yes. And so obviously there's a lot of variability in what um, people 
mean when they say that? Like when you say, oh, the, the U.S. is a Christian nation, they could be referring to like the makeup of the population, right? Or they could be referring to the uh, historical cultural context of the country, or they could be referring to they actually genuinely think it's a Christian nation. I mean, there's a lot of variability in how you could use this term. What was interesting, though, is that um, the poll also looked at, like, who was even familiar with the term Christian nationalism. And of the people who were familiar with the term, they were, like, very negative against it. Um, okay. Wait, D is saying that was not a joke. About DeSantis? Yeah, he's, D is saying, not a joke, Carmen. Major news outlets covered the speech. We are in the we are in this problem because we all took it for a joke this long. Wait, so DeSantis? I, wait a minute. DeSantis is literally the think he was literally made in the eighth day by God. Like, I don't know. your country is going cuckoo. I don't know. I have to see this. Bread of Life is saying the eighth day thing is probably a reference to a new interpretation of Genesis that is going around. It has to do with the second chapter of Genesis. Okay. Apparently, yeah. Armin, hot news, new Genesis just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> you guys with your religion always with this new interpretation, you know? Like, new oh, updates. Just, we got new yeah. updates to the perfect I, word of God. Don't worry about it. Don't worry I about it. <laughs> I thought religion was better than you know, secularism and liberalism because it keeps us grounded in something stable, you know, I don't know. But you keep but saying new interpretation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it's um, objective, you know? <laughs> objective reality keeps, it seems to, it, you know, it's objective reality, but what that object reality is, is very subjective. So at the, you know, at the end it becomes very subjective. Kind of funny Our subjective out, huh? interpretation of objective reality. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, GJ is saying, and the second item, one, US, USA motto, in God we trust, two, uh -huh. years ago under God, but I don't know what you're saying, was also added to the US Pledge of Allegiance to the uh, and to the US flag. Yes, these are new things that were added to the to the pledge of allegiance to the US flag and also to model it wasn't like in god the we case. trust is like adding in god we trust is like less than 100 years old it's an anti-communist thing yeah this these are both in response to the red scare this is these are both the things that were done this is not like you america these are very recent this is mccarthyism effect of people worrying about communism taking over the united states yeah um yeah true, true thank you so much again you're very generous gj with all of your super chats so thank, thank you so you. much for that get my best-selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description